You know what goes great with dinner? How about a bottle of wine? Mm -hmm. We're visiting a boutique wine shop. It's in Olmsted Falls and it's called Old Wine Cellar. Well, our philosophy at the Old Wine Cellar Bistro and Bottle Shop is to carry wine, small boutique wines that don't get the shelf time or the face time at the big box store um, grocery stores. All of these are hands-on, the winemakers treat their wines like their children. And those, so they're small production, most 3,000 cases or less. And that's who we try to support, and then they support us in return. At our old store, we always did wine tastings on the weekends, had themed wine tastings, and they were hugely popular. Then we would go out to have something to eat afterwards. So we decided, wow, you know, if we had some place where people could eat, they'd stay. After four years, we found the right chef that we've known since he was in diapers. Our menu is really eclectic, so I just use techniques from uh, different countries and everywhere I've been, uh, in the United States as well, and kind of combine it all just to pair with wine. So it's kind of really an eclectic menu. In front of me, I have a duck prosciutto flatbread. Um, we make the duck prosciutto in-house. It's dressed with a whipped ricotta uh, with sage and roasted garlic. This in the middle here, this is mussels and clams. So you uh, make a little house chorizo. Uh, you throw that in a pan with some fat, and then you're gonna throw pickled green tomatoes in there, Ohio sweet corn shallots, and uh, let it rock with some white wine. Steam it until they all open up, mount with butter, fried some kale, throw that on top. A little house-made focaccia bread for sopping up the juices. Over here, we have a crowd favorite. This is the Brussels sprouts. So this is done in a super traditional French technique way, face down, pan fried, take the fat out, throw a little uh, honey and vinegar in there and make a mi-cui um, gastrique. So you just caramelize the honey and reduce the vinegar. Well, my next venture is in packaged foods. Um, I'm making something called my nuts. They are almonds, walnuts, pepita seeds, and they're sweet, salty, and savory. They're really good. They pair with any food or beer or wine or anything fun. It's like cheers, you know, everybody knows each other that comes in here. And when we first started, the one wonderful thing about these wines and the wine tastings, particularly on the, the weekends, every Friday and Saturday we have them, um, you'll have bikers sitting next to doctors, construction workers with nurses, and you know, and, and they become best friends. They actually travel together. All the only thing they have in common is the wine. If you've not been here, you shouldn't be afraid of number one pricing. Our prices are state minimum, just like everybody else. Um, and we're not snobs. A large part of my clientele are people who don't drink wine. They just want to get a bottle that's not going to embarrass them when they go to somebody else's house. And we take care of them just like we do the person looking for the nice expensive bottle of wine. It looks fantastic. Old Wine Cellar is in Olmstead Falls. You can check out the calendar online for the list of upcoming tastings. This weekend is For the Love of Port.